Checking in here at the Yeti Cup, team number 13284, Snowbots coming out of Houghton. I'm here with uh, Nelson and Daniel, and we're going to talk a bit more about this cool robot here on Behind the Bot. Have a great intake and an awesome elevator that I want to show you off here today. Uh, so let's start as we get this robot kind of moving here. It's a scoring machine. It wants you to tell me a bit about this robot and what's going on with it. So it has a rope elevator, a grabber that works like that, and in the back there are two latching mechanisms to grab onto the foundation. So let's take these one at a time. Let's show up your uh, elevator a little bit, or your uh, grabber a little bit to start out with. How did you come up with this type of grabber uh, when you're thinking about what you want to make for a robot? We wanted something that was compact and be able to grab it very well. Okay, yeah. and then looking, let's grab a hold of that. And can you tell me a little bit more about the uh, elevator uh, that you have here on your robot, and why did you come up with the linear slide type? So we um, we were going to, thinking about using a rack and pinion, but um, they aren't they don't move up and down very fast, and it's hard to um, like make them. If you want to make them go higher, you have to add a lot more stuff. This you just have to add a couple more parts and um, stages, and it, it makes it really easy. Like. Um, we're planning for our next competition to um, add a couple more stages so that we can stack more um, stones. Something you're telling me about too with your mechanic wheels is you decided to go with the uh, chain uh, system instead. Why did you decide to go that route? Um, we didn't want gears like um, stripping against each other and um, breaking and not um, not getting good, um, not being able to provide good um, motion to the wheels. Well, that makes a lot of sense to me, and I, I want to uh, wind up here talking about that foundation grabber you mentioned earlier. So tell me more about it. How does it work, and why did you decide to go that route? So we have two servos that control it using X and Y, where X is latch and Y is unlatch. We decided on using that because it's simple and it's very effective. Well, 13284 looking really good here at this competition. Uh, can't wait to see how it does here. Obviously manipulating quite well. And can't wait to see how you do in the playoffs and in the future here in FTC and Skystone. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.